Hey everyone, I'm here to do a quick makeup tutorial. Um, I'm gonna put my makeup on and I'm gonna use some new colors and switch it up a little bit. And what I have uh, currently using, what I have on my face is a nice clean face. And I got the 3D foundation on and I have mineral powder on top of that. Other than that, that's all that I have on. As you can see, the mineral powder foundation covers really really good as well as the 3d um, foundation so I love both of those together because I get a little bit of redness in my face and that kind of masks the redness in my face first thing that I'm gonna use is our fun liquid eyeshadow and this is light beam the color I love the color And so this is a liquid eye, eye shadow and it goes on liquid and it goes on a nice little applicator like this so it's easy to use and it dries like regular eyeshadow. Um, we used to have our um, beach, beach blonde and I use that all the time and I kind of love this because I don't really need um, too much of a tool for this. So I just apply just a little bit on and then I'll just blend it in with the brush We'll do this eye first, and then I just use my blending brush here, and I just blend it in. So you just use a little bit, and I mean, you could put more on if you like, but it just kind of gives you a nice, just a little bit. See how much I didn't put too much on? And there's a difference, and this is a great one if you're just like on the go, and just, I mean, you could apply a little bit more to have a little bit more of a shimmer versus not, nothing on this side. And this is great, so you could just be on the go and just put light beam on and mascara and you're out the door super fast. And this is, these are great for on the go moms um, heading out or off to work real quick. If you're running late, put a little shimmer on and some mascara. Let me do the other side. As you can see, you just put just a little bit, just a little bit on and then I just blend it, blend the rest in. Just like that, super easy. I love it. All right, and then I'm going to use, I love our palette. You could put all, you can see some of the colors that I use a lot, all the time. And this is our Chroma Fusion eyeshadow. And we have mattes, we have a little bit of sparkle, um, whatever, eyeshadows that you're interested in. But today I'm going to use um, hazelnut, which is, oh, hazelnut is right here. And then I'm going to use um, frozen iris, this one right here. I'm gonna use those one. And then I'm gonna highlight with crystalline, which is, as you can tell, I kinda like that one. And then I will use our liquid eye pen. I love our liquid eye, eye pen for our eyeliner and lash primer and our lash intensity mascara. And then we use strawberry cream blush to follow with the with my um, luminous lilac um, lipstick. So right now let's do some tutorial with the eyes because we all love to do eye makeup. So let me get the correct tools here. Um, eye crease brush, make sure you have a nice little eye crease, crease brush. And let me get to the hazelnut. So I just put just a little bit, just a little bit. I always start with just a little, and then if you need to add more, you can add more. I just put it right in the crease, kind of like in a V, and it blends in. And then we can blend it. So it looks like a lot at first, but then you just blend it, blend it in with our blending brush. And so this is hazelnut. Perfect. And then you can blend. I love our brushes. The 
nice and soft and they're delicate on your eye. All right, so I got light beam and hazelnut on. Got a nice little smokiness, smoky eye going on. And I like to do my eyeliner next and then I will um, put the accent eye color and the highlighting eye color on. So let's do the eye. And that's one thing I love with the liquid eye pen. It has a nice little tip to it. So it's easy to use. Um, we also have eyeliner if you like just the, the regular eyeliner, but I enjoy the eye pen. I think it's so much easier to use. And of course you gotta make the little face when you're doing your eyeliner, correct? Just like that. And then the other one, the other side, make your face. Perfect. See, it looks good with just the eyeliner. It already gives you a definition in, in the eye. And I've used, I'm so used to using the eyeliner, so it's just really quick for me to put on. Uh, when you first start out, it's kind of it's kind of hard um, to, to learn it, but the practice, more practice, you'll master using one hand. Before I've used the, try to do the stretching, but you can't, shouldn't stretch your eyes because we don't want any wrinkles. All right, so let's do the Frozen Iris. This color, right? Where is it? Right here. It's kind of like a pinkish purple color. So I'll just put a little bit. And I'm just going to put some just right there. Just a little bit more. Just kind of give a little color right there. And the other side. And then I'm going to highlight with crystalline right there. Now it's just to do a little bit of highlighting up here. And then other side, highlight. And always in the centers. I'm gonna do a little under there. Put a little bit right there. And blend, blend it all in. Blend it all in. And that is that. That's with the eyes. So we have um, light beam and we have hazelnut as in the crease and then frozen iris and then highlighting with crystalline. And I'm going to put a lash primer so it's always good to have a lash primer on your mask or before your mascara. We always use a primer. It just helps hold on to the mascara just like when we prime the walls, we gotta have a primer for, for priming the walls before we paint. All right, so we have different types of mascara to use. Um, I love the Lash Intensity Mascara. It kinda gives you three-dimensional um, look on your eyelashes and makes your eyelashes pop. Um, we have, and the other popular one is our Ultimate Mascara. Those are the like, two hottest seller, is the Lash Intensity and the Ultimate Mascara. Ultimate is kind of lash lengthening and um, fullness all at the same time. But this kind of gives you the look of false lashes without having the falsies on your lashes. And the brushes are, it's kind of a wild looking brush. It is kind of crazy, but that's how it makes your eye lashes feel pretty full. And see how there's like the Mary Kay right there. So I always start off with the little the littlest part of the brush, and then you kind of wiggle all your way up. I 
hair was getting in my way. See the difference between one side, the other side. Absolutely love this mascara. And then you just switch it to the other side. You rotate the, the wand. Make it nice. And your eyelashes pop without having the false eyelashes. So this is great. So you can see a difference between one side looks like barely have any eyelashes. Seems like after you hit 40, you lose all your eyelashes. So this has been a blessing, this mascara, the Lash Intensity Mascara. And with your mascara, always there's a tip. Three months, you always wanna replace your mascara. And don't do the pumping because pumping dries out your mascara and it creates bacteria in your mascara. And we definitely do not want any bacteria in your mascara at all. And every three months, you Replace your mascara and replace, if you're going to replace your mascara, replace your lash primer as well. And we want fresh mascara when we're applying it on our eyes. And don't pump, no pumping at all. We don't want it dries it out faster. If you do pump, just twist the, twist the one into the tube. As you could probably hear my son yelling on Fortnite. We all have that. Who, Whose kids or boys are on Fortnite constantly? And then they're crying and complaining and yelling that they're losing at a game. Or they got killed on Fortnite or something. I have no idea. But it's annoying. I'm sure you guys can all get that. Understand that. Alright, so what do you think about that? The eyes. I love it. I like the iris. A little pop of purple in the eyes. All right, so I'm gonna use strawberry cream for cheeks, and I'm using the Mary Kay cheek brush. It has a nice little curve to it here, like a little angle to it. And um, I always apply, I start here and then I come down. Um, some people apply here and then go up, but I always, I start here and then gradually down. I prefer to have more and then gradually. I don't want lots of color like right here and then fade. So I want more fading to the face. And I kind of keep it towards the, the cheekbone right here. So that's strawberry cream and we've got other um, colors too. So I just put just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And then I blend up. I want to have that definition on the side. All right. And then we're going to do um, lipstick. I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to use a nude lip liner. We have all different types of uh, colors of lip liner. And I'm going to line the lips. And then I'm going to put luminous Lilac, absolutely my favorite lipstick. Love this lipstick. I like pinks. Anything pinks, I love. I'm a pink, I'm a pink lipstick girl. We've got reds, we got berries, we got browns, we got nudes, net corals, we got all different colors. So lining of the lips, I always make like a little V and then make a line down here and I just kind of connect the dots. And Lining your lips is good, so it's, there's no blending or, bl or feathering of your lipstick, and it kind of helps keep your lipstick from without, because the older we get, sometimes you get a little bit of wrinkles through here. So we don't want any feathering of lipsticks in those areas that we do not want on our lips. So I'm gonna line the lips. This is a very light color. And then 
put the lipstick on. Love, love, love this lipstick. My favorite. And I love our um, semi-matte lipsticks. They are amazing. So this is a semi-gel matte lipstick. Has a little bit of a shine, but not too much of a shine. So that is it. That's what I did. So far we did the we did the full makeup um, quick. I mean, the video took me 15 minutes to do, but usually I'm out the door. Probably just takes me less than like five minutes to do because it's like boop, boop, real quick. Um, any other um, questions, just let me know. Um, any other looks you'd like me to try, just uh, drop me a line and I can try those. And we'll uh, go on to another look um, at a later date. So you guys have a fabulous day and enjoy. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.